Oh yeah, I, I was kind of standing here for a while, so, you know, I, I paused the game. <laughs> There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. <laughs> Let's see. Set of security, my job and duty, make sure all the bases have been covered. Protecting student body. Um... 15.4% drop in campus crime. Demonize my plans for surveillance system. Cowardly petition. Redact this petition. Reconsider the human costs. Not retrofiting Blackwell. Well, that's interesting. Now, we wish to go behind the principal's desk. This doesn't look like the same room we were in. Oh my god, the principal has their own bathroom? I'm a total phony to wear a crappy hat like that. <laughs> I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost his beret. I bet he's cute. I want the beret. So I can be a French man. <laughs> Squirrels like nuts. Oh Does that my mean god. Samuel is. Nah. Hmm. Wow, there's so much stuff we could possibly look at, but they won't let us. Alright, Chloe, let's get down to business. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Dude, what? He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Let's break it down. No, a little got locked again, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Where's the bobby pin and. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Yes. <laughs> Drawers. Nope. Nothing here. Except a bunch of files. Dead end. Nope. Boring. Jeez. Well, I, I shouldn't have expected to find anything in here. In there, I should say. Desolation. No key for me. We have to find. But I didn't even key. look in all of the damn things. I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. What do you mean? I didn't even. Has the key. I didn't even look through all those damn things. Hey, Warren, you busy? Oh Just God. bubble heart, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Fuck no. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go egg with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. And <laughs> that look on Chloe's face. Oh my god. She's like, excuse me. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it Soda down. can, duct tape, can that's all I managed to read. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Lupin? Oh my god. Up. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know Lupin the Third, that's an anime. Uh, I haven't watched it though. Oh my god. Let's see. Pay attention, 007. Have to find four objects sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Any questions? Powder? It's create chlorine dioxide. Really gonna try this. Keyword is try. Thought of your wisdom. <laughs> uh, read more journal stuff. Jesus Christ. And it just thickens. Well, no. Actually, we didn't get an extra page. Huh. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now 
than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony. Like I'm gonna rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I've had this I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the show, the snow, and that eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side that has to be a miracle. Which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas as I stealthily made my way out of the hall. I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from the other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed her on the video and bullied her to the roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see the people are on her side, finally. I hope I can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. Damn, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got outside, of course. It was Principal Wells of all people blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. Wait a minute, he didn't bust me. That's weird. Huh. Principal Wells was shit-faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Madsen. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much toot, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously, but I can see that he's under a lot of pressure. So much that he's so wasted, he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go in and meet Chloe. Bad Max. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her in finding Rachel. She gets butthurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously, I have time in hand. But I can't say I'm mad at her for long. She was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building. Honestly, I was pretty amped up too. Even more so when we went in front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. Shocked and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She is freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major sir respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favor? I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my ruin power. Yes, there's somebody, something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the wishing hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind that it was a stolen key from one of the school's head of security. Anyway, Blackwell Ninja strike again. Yup, a nifty. <laughs> no. Let's see if I can find those items. Head over to the science room. Oh wait, you can buy something from here. Release the crack can. Crack can? <laughs> That's wonderful. What is it? It's all mine anyway. Now what are we looking for again? Sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Only three more items to go. I'm sure we can find quite a bit of those items in here. Formalin. Sugar for your coffee. Take. Ooh, sugar. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. You're halfway home, Max. I should probably turn this off. Please resume your slumber. Still there. Did you blow up, Max? Still here. Didn't blow up. Not yet. Need concentration now. That's funny. <laughs> Science book. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that if I knew it. Damn it, Warren. You done fucked up. Chemistry stuff, my no, favorite. This mixture does not work. I 
can look in all these, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I only found one thing in here. I might find some more, actually. Here's the sodium chloride box. Now, how do I reach it? Please don't drop it, Max. You don't blow up. Clothes, don't waste your <laughs> Use the damn chair. Oh man, she already knew. That's nice. All right, now I just gotta find some damn Only duct tape. Um, there is no duct tape in here. Maybe there might be some in Jefferson's room. Let's go. All right. This is like a scene in a horror film. Where the Max gets murdered by drama. <laughs> Just kidding. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. There has to be a picture from this. Somehow. Yeah, but I can't do it. Duct tape found it. Taketh. The tape is mine. Alright, let's do it, yo. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. And not explode. Yep. Run, 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 run. Wait a minute. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Yes, that's wonderful. Run, 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 running, 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 running. Why do they keep the lights on for this? Oh, you must take real pride in your trophies, buddies. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. <laughs> That's right. All right. Here we are. Pipe bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Litter bubble. Yes! Time to blow shit up! Are we seriously gonna do yeah, this? You'll light the candle? This is so cool. Oh Get my god. Ready to haul ass. Why are we doing this? <laughs> good. That was so fucking cool. Oh, oh shit. Hey. Here comes the Holy whole shit. What should we do? Rewind, of course. I should head inside. Yeah, we're rewinding. I am not taking any chances here. And open the door from the outside. outside. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. Company I keep. Now let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Yep. Man, I can see where the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. No taste. <laughs> How can he trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? Picture. I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, what? If only the principal had a Monet or Picasso. He'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Wait, she was expelled? I'm not I'm not I'm not getting this. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? Oh yes, this is the room we were in. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Watch well, search through that computer. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Bronze Hawk. You're not so tacky up close. <laughs> Here.
Here's some more journal to read for later. Let's see here. I need a picture of the bronze hawk. I wonder why it won't let me get a pic of it. You're not so tacky up close. It's, it's kind of weird. Oh, photo. Right on. Say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. <laughs> There we go, that's how it's done. I just look at the wrong thing. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. What does that mean? Bokeh? Ooh. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Yeah, that's a little too Only much to me. I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. <laughs> Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Hmm. Continues his family historical legacy. Still academic record. Extracurricular activities. Can it be homeless fun? Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Quiet, sensitive student. Much potential for photography. GPI fluctuates. Should be doing better. Hmm. Too nervous and nosy. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Speak up more in class, be more assertive. Common student suggestion. Hmm. Do they really have things like this in principal's offices? That's kind of, that's kind of nerve-wracking. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. <laughs> Gold standard. High GPA, extracurricular activities. High marks from faculty. Gross. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Exemplary student. Long tradition of excellence. Gift or curse of gab. Some have accused him of playing science pranks. Not confirmed. Hmm. Nifty. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. <laughs> yeah, we are getting overtime here. So I need to quit. Even though I'm gonna have to, you know, replay everything. So, yeah. Meh.